Hi, I'm Dan Pertipassi. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale Bud mid train dome car from Rapido Trains. My example is decorated for Canadian Pacific in the CP rail scheme with the Pac Man logo. This car is an MSRP of $109. I got mine for $87.99 from a popular online retailer. Rapido offers these cars in several different paint schemes. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car comes in a cardboard box with a clear plastic window. Inside, a two-piece plastic cradle protects the model. I found that the outer sleeve of the cradle tends to want to stay inside the cardboard box. Opening the inner part of the cradle reveals the car, which is wrapped in clear plastic film for additional protection. This is a good box that should protect the model for storage and transport. One of Rapido's magnetic wands and a pair of extra couplers are packed in a plastic bag inside the box. The long shank couplers are for using the model on extremely tight curves below a 24 inch radius. The box also includes a set of instructions and exploded view drawings. I was not able to find any photos of this particular car, but I found a few photos of other Canadian Pacific cars in the same number series. The model looks to be an exact match. The paint on the car is opaque and thin enough not to obscure detail. Under magnification, the silver paint looks a bit grainy, but this isn't too noticeable when viewing the car in a layout. The markings are crisp and there are car numbers on the end doors. On the vestibule end, the car has a number board in the windows closest to the door. In service, these would have a temporary number in them to help passengers find their assigned car, though there are no numbers on the model. The corrugations on the body are nicely done. All of the grab irons are freestanding. The corner stirrups are molded into the body. They appear to be slightly too thick to be true to scale, but this should also make them more durable. The overall look is good. A lot of the underbody detail is visible from the sides and looks really good. I especially like the window gasket treatment, the flush mounted windows, and the window shades that are all at different heights, the way you would see them on a real car as passengers adjust them to suit their needs. On the ends, the car has sprung diaphragms that look like they should work. Unfortunately, I don't have another Rapido car like this, so I can't say if they will mate when two cars are coupled together. Judging by the position of the couplers, it should be fairly close. I really like the gate detail in the diaphragms. The car has uncoupling levers and hoses, and the end grabs are freestanding. Up top, the roof has finer corrugations. The dome is excellent, and like the rest of the car, includes a detailed interior. I love how the seats, headrests, and floor are different colors. Underneath, the car has enough detail and freestanding plumbing to satisfy most modelers. A lot of this can't be seen when the model is on the track, but the overall effect is really good. The model has KD number no. 5 or similar knuckle couplers on both ends. The coupler on the vestibule end is low, so I'm taking 5 points. The coupler on the other end is also low. All of the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. There's no body wobble, meaning that the car won't wiggle back and forth as it rolls down the track. The car is very free rolling. The model weighs 7.4 ounces, over the 6.75 ounce NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length. I like my cars heavier because I think they track better, so for me this is a good thing. The car lighting requires track power. I'm using DCC to test my car, which has a constant voltage on the rails. The magnetic wand turns the lights on and off, but you have to wave it over the car in just the right spot. I love how there are lights up in the dome. Many lit dome cars that I've seen have nothing up there. A capacitor circuit keeps the lights on for a few seconds if the power is lost. This should really help to eliminate flickering as the car rolls over dead spots or dirty track. Let's take a look at what we've got. Both couplers were low, so I took 10 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 90 out of 100 possible points, which would be an A- minus on a report card. This is a really nice model and it deserves a green signal. Rapido did a really nice job with this car. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but it has a full interior, it's lighted, and has great detail. If you're looking for a mid-train dome car for your railroad, I think this is a really nice one, and you probably like it. 